When you put a seed in the soil, it remains beneath the soil until the season changes. And, and when the season changes, that the seasonal change automatically brings about uh, rather atmospheric conditions, bring about a seasonal change that makes that seed come up or crop grow uh, in its appointed time. And all over this world today, God himself has brought about political uh, changes, a political atmosphere, sociological, social atmosphere, um, economic atmosphere. These economic conditions, these political conditions and social conditions uh, combine to bring about a situation that is making black people in America more receptive, their mind more fertile to the seed of truth that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has been planting for 30 some years. And this is springing up today and causing our people to see and understand now what they couldn't see and understand before. What is the nature of the situation which is making black people more receptive? The, well, you take uh, the, in the past, say, 15 years, how uh, the nations have emerged, dark nations have emerged in, in Africa. Uh, prior to 10 years ago, most Negroes associated or identified Africa with a savage, jungle-like place. And whenever you mentioned the word African in their mind's eye, they could see the image of a, someone running around with a spear, uh, with no language, who'd say, ugga bugga boo, or buana, or something, and uh, who'd be in a jungle running from lions or chasing lions. But then when, uh, after the war, when the United Nations was set up in New York City, uh, black people began to look at uh, uh, men like Tom Mboya, they begin to look at men like uh, Nkrumah, they begin to see men like Lumumba, they begin to see men like Nasser, they begin to see uh, these uh, Belawa and Azikwe who could uh, exchange intellectually with whites on an international level in a political form and hold their own. This made the black people in this country realize that what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had been teaching all the time actually had substance. And they began to turn it over in their mind and see that what he was saying had more weight to it than what these other uh, Negroes were saying. And they began to identify themselves with the black world and the black struggle more uh, closely than they identified themselves with this so-called white world. Let me ask you a question with respect to a statement which Essien Yudum quotes as being on a bulletin board in the University of Islam in Chicago by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 